I want to show two different ways of handling item drops for characters inside of the game. So one, when a character is defeated, you can have them drop what's in their inventory currently, which I'm calling inventory drops in my plugin. So when I swing at this crab guy, he's going to drop a map and a red potion every single time he's defeated. So there's the potion, there's the map. Now in this case, the inventory is always the same, but the real advantage is that if you happen to want to change the contents of the inventory, maybe the enemy actually uses the potion, then you can dynamically remove or add items to what gets dropped. Now the other method is random drops, which items will be randomly dropped from an inventory or a chest. So if I can catch up to one of these guys over here and I slay him, you'll see that a certain number of gold coins and a certain number of silver coins generates from that every single time. If I slay another guy, then the number of gold coins you get might change. In this case, I only got two gold coins. And if we do it a third time, we might see different results as well. So the obvious advantage there is you don't know what you're going to get. And the same principles can be applied to opening a treasure chest as well. So randomly generated loot every single time we open the chest, you can see we got one gold coin and a bunch of silver. Let's do it again. Aside from that, it's mostly just defining the odds of what can drop and how many times you want to roll on the loot table to get the items to drop and adding in a scene spawner, all of which is built into my item drops plugin for easy setup.